All right, welcome back to the innovation stage. I hope you're having an amazing time so far. Our next speaker is Eva Teixeira. She is the CEO and co-founder at Goodface Project. Please join me in welcoming Eva to our virtual stage. Hi everyone, and thank you for having me today. Globally, beauty and personal care is a massive market which exceeds 750 billion by 2025. Yet at this mature industry at best growing with inflation, there is a large category called clean beauty that is growing at two to three times the industry rate. Clean beauty's growth is driven by two primary consumer needs, that for ingredient transparency and the other one for clean formulations. The consumer's strong desire for transparent and clean beauty formulas has met its match in the retail industry's strong drive for growth and in the context of lacking ingredients regulations at the federal level, retailers have become the pseudo regulators for establishing their own beauty and personal care ingredient blacklists and forcing brands, manufacturers and suppliers of personal care and cosmetics to comply with them. This has left those in charge of product development with a multidimensional and dynamic formula optimization problem that is very hard to solve on a sheet of paper or in one's head. So what we have built is an AI chemist in the cloud and we're enabling cosmetics and personal care brands to design, test and launch their products. Our SaaS tool, the Good Face Formulator, acts as an AutoCAD for the cosmetic chemists of sort, providing an R&D box, sandbox, that dynamically displays guidance and how to optimize each product's formula for the purposes of complying with the maximum number of retail and geographic restrictions while being able to carry the most cosmetic benefit claims. The Good Face Formulator draws upon our proprietary AI-powered and science-backed ingredient ontology with over 100,000 ingredients graded across 15 dimensions of safety and efficacy. The process via which we have built our ontology is an iterative one and has five very, very simplified steps, if you will. The first one is amassing over 200,000 in-market ingredient lists actual lists of products that are found at your favorite CVS, Target, or Sephora store. Then we create a huge ontology tree of cosmetic ingredients, and against it, we begin matching scientific sources of information that have to do with the skin and the overall health. As a fourth step, we infuse information that is provided to us via our own app, the Good Face app on iOS, uh, from the consumer about every single product that the consumer um, encounters and either likes or dislikes. And our ontology learns at the ingredient level about the consumer's experience with products. Finally, to make the ontology even more um, valuable to the formulating party, we impose regulations, restrictions, and seal standards at the global level so that um, if, a, a, if an ingredient is particularly good for bleaching the skin, but it doesn't necessarily fit, fit let's say, the Chinese regulations, uh, the formulator can know that and they can stay away from it or they can decrease the percentage of it to the point where uh, it will pass the regulation, the restriction or the consumer seal standard. The Good Face Formulator was launched in April this year and is already beloved uh, tool for personal care and cosmetics innovators of all prominence and sizes. Um, and uh, our consumer, our customers are scattered across the globe with uh, you being able to recognize quite a few of these uh, brands. At this time, I'm happy to take any questions that folks in the audience might have. Wow, Eva, thank you so much. That was amazing. And I know this virtual audience is giving you a huge virtual round of applause because that was incredible and we appreciate your insight today. 
My for the audience, it's time for you to make your way to your next session. Along the way, make sure you accept your connection request and take some time to check out our amazing exhibits. Thanks so much, and we'll see you around.